Okay, I've been working on my Honda 600. This is my 72 Honda Z Coupe 600, and I've been trying to get it to go a little faster. I've got a quarter mile marked off on a local highway, and I've been tuning with it a little bit. If you notice, it's a single carburetor, and I've got the old style carburetor. This has got the rubber diaphragm, simple to take off. There's just four screws. And inside there, there's a spring. I'll show you here. This spring and this plunger and this needle. And this needle is your main jet needle. Essentially, when that plunger goes up and down, the taper of the needle allows more or less fuel. A lot of carburetors are adjustable as far as their main needle goes. Um, the Hondas are not, but if you look close, I'm going to try to zoom in on this. Right here on my needle, oh, I don't know if you can see that. I, right here at the at the head of the needle where my finger's pointing, I've been installing E-clips, like out of this E-clip assortment, to space the needle so that it sits higher and allows more fuel, kind of like adjustable jets. You can see that, I think you can see them now. See those E-clips on there? So I've been trying uh, a clip, going out and doing a road test, see how she pulls and coming back and adding or subtracting the needles. Like I said, some carburetors, motorcycle carburetors, have a pin you can adjust. It does effectively the same thing. But on the Honda 600s, the carburetors are not really adjustable. This car has dual exhaust, so it flows a little bit more than stock, and I want to see if the extra fuel will help. So there's a little tip, trip, tick, tip and trick for tuning your Honda 600. Uh, I just wanted to show you that um, maybe it can help somebody out. It certainly has helped me out. It's, I've gotten about two more miles an hour uh, in the quarter mile by just playing with that, usually riching it up. All right, thanks for watching.